Chicky Stories Podcasts, primary purpose is to educate and entertain. We are here to share stories and experiences based on our team's and guests' personal knowledge. We will have friendly, casual conversations, but not give professional advice or services. TCSP is for private, non-commercial use, and our guests do not necessarily reflect our team's views and opinions. Earphones are highly recommended, especially when there are young children around. Also, there may be barking noises. Thank you and enjoy the podcast. The Cheeky Stories podcast with Cheeky Pineda Zimi is supported in part by the Vita Babes, the Cheeky Stories Saturday Facebook community, friends and family. Learn more at cheekypineda.com. This isn't water, friends. <laughs> Not water. Ang sakit. Ang sakit ng aking arm. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hinihingal sa kaba at sa excitement. Hello and welcome to Chicky Stories Podcast. My dearest artistas, all of my Facebook friends, family, abangers, quagos, vita babes, and to everybody around the world, imi mommies especially. This is the Chicky Stories Podcast and I am your host, Chicky Pineda. <sighs> Wait now. Hey, Chicky, don't be weird. Don't be weird today. <laughs> okay, we can be a little bit weird, just a little bit. I have an achy shoulder from all those years of crocheting. I call I call that the years of yarn therapy. Um, alam niyo po kasi when I was, uh, especially for immigrant moms listening right now, there are times during the holidays na nadidepress po tayong mga immigrants, lalo na yung the holiday na Pasko, di po ba? Because we miss the Philippines so much. So, ang akin pong therapy yarn. Pero sa sobra ko yatang sa kakaganchilyo. Shameless plug. Chicky beanies. Winter time. Order now. But sometimes, you know, this masakit siya na para siyang masikip. Sometimes it's downright annoying. And then sometimes naman, it's negligible. Yes, I will get it checked. I hear you. Yeah, I will get it checked. Yes, AKM. MKM. Um, come to think of it, the 50s are all about managing yet another achy shoulder, achy back, achy front, achy knees, back pain. Anyone? Anyone? Back pain? Golden girls and boys. Check, check, check. More on pain management on another episode. Don't you miss the good old days when yung tata, we just bounce right out of bed and then kahit po yat, bilis when we were young and the only pain that I remember feeling when I was younger is the heartache yung teenage angst ba tinat- na tinatawag so nung bata pa tayo yun lang ang ating inaalala teenage angst speaking of teen angst um, my mini drama had a running. I had a running musical score composed of Sharon Conetta songs. Dear heart, ikaw daw ay batang bata pa. Remember that? And the timeless classics of one super genius songwriter named Odette Quesada. You know, I have loved you only in my mind. <laughs> I've known you all along, you are around the mind. Siyempre, bata pa ako, hindi ko maintindihan yung lyrics nun kasi tsaka bisaya po ako nun. Hirap mag-English nung bata pa ako, hindi ako marunong. <laughs> These days, whenever I feel, when I feel homesick, I still turn to the same songs and reminisce alone or with some friends who are as senti as me. And then we just, ah, we just sigh a lot. 
Tonight, my friends, we are going to all collectively sigh together because we are in for a treat, not just any treat. We are in for a giant, ginormous buffet of treats and feels and squeals. And I told my producer I will not squeal tonight. I promised her no yelling, no squealing. Don't make it weird, Jiki. Don't make it weird. Boys and girls, ladies and gents, please welcome Miss... But before that, <laughs> hello everyone. Before that, yes, I am the queen of Pabitin. I would like to thank my producer and my co-creator who is in the green room and, and her name is Charina Giron in Australia. Mayang adlaw sa inyo sa Australia, Chawing. She's also bisdak like me. To everybody all over the world who are Cebuano, Bisaya, especially the ones from Davao, shout out special para sa inyo kay taga sa Davao, man kundi dako. Grew up in Davao. And once again, to all the immigrant moms listening, this is the show called the Chicky Stories Podcast, Chica for Immigrant Filipinas. And, okay. Ah, I met OQ years ago, and we've been friends for about five, six years now. And I don't need to tell you who she is because all of you watching here know who she is. So I will not waste any more time. I'm just going to bring her in. I hope she's here because I know she came from work. Whew, yes, we weren't even able to sound check, mga friends, because she came straight from work. And she's already here. Ang pambansang storyteller, singer, songwriter ng Pilipinas. And by the way, she just received the... Coveted Phil Scap Lifetime Achievement Award this year, 2022. Multi-awarded winner, uh, winning singer, songwriter, and record producer. Um, and my super friend. Are we calm? Yes, we are. No, we're not. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss <laughs> Odette Quesada. Odette Quesada. Hey. <laughs> okay, hi. Puro, puro bata pa lang ang ano mo. <laughs> yes. Ang audience mo. <laughs> or nagpapabata-bataan. Bata-bataan. How are hi, you? Hi, Chiki. I'm I'm good. I actually was was on on the thing on the app that you sent me, but I just couldn't figure out how to make it work. Apparently, I had to scroll down and hit something else. Okay. Technical. But I was here. Technical. And I was trying to call you, but your phone goes straight to voicemail. Because at this time, it's a very special time for this Imi Mami. I shut off everything. Plus, it goes, you know how it is. So, yeah. kamusta ang OQ? Kamusta? I am good. I yeah. actually slept very well last night for the first time in days. So, I'm good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Buti, buti ka pa. <laughs> okay. hindi kami nakatulog kasi our brains were just jumping all over the place. Di ba, Lauren? Oh. Di ba, Christine? They're all here. I don't know if you can see the comments, OQ, but mm. this is the highest of all our episodes that we've ever gotten. I see a lot of hearts. I see a lot of hearts. Thank, thank you, you, everyone, for, for tuning thank in. Yes, yes. Can you imagine kung tayong dalawa lang, hindi mag-offline na lang tayo? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kan susunod na ating show sa sa San Francisco or LA. Oh, mm-hmm. Can you hear me? Okay, I we didn't get to it's do a perfect. sound check. Okay. Yes, but it's it's perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, good. By the way, congrats the Phil Scott lifetime. No, I, I, honestly, I, I made a mistake uh, when I sent it to you. I thought that was the updated bio that I had. It's that's from 2015. Oh, that's 2015. Yeah, I that's 2015. Congratulations, just the same. I think I sent you the wrong one. Because <laughs> they all they all say OQ bio, OQ bio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lovely. Um so, so, so but, dito, Jen, we're used hmm. to uh, making all kinds of mistakes. In fact, OQ, <laughs> I encourage the making of mistakes. Encourage it. Yeah. Um, on... that's how that's how we are able hmm. to create, right? Um, okay. I'm gonna do uh, radio time. Okay. In the next couple of seconds. Um, welcome to the Chicky Stories podcast. My name is Chicky, and our very special guest for today, 
is no other than singer, songwriter, super duper, super friend, Ms. Odette <laughs> Quesada. And I always start with this question, Oki Oki. <clears throat> what was the young and very creative Oki like? As a little girl of, let's say, five, six. Oh, five, six. I was very mm. precocious. Talagang. Mm. In, in other words, pilia. Very pilia. But mm -hmm. um, I was always into music and my, yeah, that's me. Where did you get that? <laughs> you grabbed that. <laughs> yeah. Ganyan that's, kapilia. What ganyan was happening kapilia. here? Mm -hmm. Tell us I have clue. no idea. I haven't a clue. I kind of have a vague recollection of it. Nah, I'm probably just playing and, I don't know, looks like I'm gargling at the moment. <laughs> I I thought you were, so probably some kind of candy or something. So yeah. precocious, what else? Um, social? I, quiet? No, I was very social as a child, I think, because I grew up in, in, in hotels. I was kind of like Eloise. So my mother would be playing at night in the hotel, and we were given a room to stay in, and I would be there. And then the next day, I'd be... All over the place. It's like it's it was my own. So, Sarah, I grew up with yeah. Was it wait before I say that? That's a judgment call. Was it a good experience for you? I don't know. Uh, uh, depends on the day. If I don't have any friends uh, that I could play with, then I, I'd be a brat about you know mm. I'd be in a bad mood and and be complaining to my mom that I just want to go home to the Philippines and. <laughs> And play with my cousins. But if I have new friends, like, you know, new hotel guests, yeah. and I make kids, then I get to play with them. Then, then I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm at the pool all day. And I, it was always I, safe. It was a, always a safe environment for you. You know what? I was, I was telling my mom the same thing. You mm -hmm. let me roam around at four exactly. by myself yeah. all over the hotel. Yeah. And I would stay at the poolside, and my babysitter was the lifeguard. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. and a lot of I, alarm bells in this mom's brain. Are I know, <laughs> but exactly. You were okay. you but were I okay. was fine. I was fine. Uh, I sure. guess it was a different time in a different era, different world, of maybe. Course. And and maybe. I was safe. Maybe. I'm glad. I'm glad you were safe because. Uh, <laughs> Whew. I would I would never dream of doing that to my kid now. I mean, my kid is 27, but when when he was that age, no way. That Your would never kid? have happened on my watch. Your kid, Darian. Oh, yeah. That's, what a that's, cutie pie. Yeah, that was him, Siguro. He was about, he's, he wasn't even two years old, I think. In this Are picture. you like him? Is he more like dad? I think it's a little bit of both. His anxiety comes from me, and his coolness <laughs> comes from his dad. <laughs> you know what? I was looking, while I was doing research, Oki, I was looking at his photo. He's a hmm. perfect mix of you. And I think so. I think so. Depends. Like when, he's, when he gets a little skinny, when he was really, really skinny, he's, he's mm. a little more like uh, my side of the family. Mm. And then uh, when he's a little chunky, then he looks a little more like his dad. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, but just one, right? Talagang just just the one. Yeah, I had the perfect kid, so I stopped. Yeah, the <laughs> That's perfect. <it>. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, we tried, but it didn't happen anymore. So. Oh, okay. Ayana siya ngayon. Mm, Ayana siya ngayon, right? That's yeah, maybe Darren. from a couple couple of years ago. Yeah. 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 Wow. Um, okay. Did he get your DNA with the the? creativity uh, in songwriting or did he go a different direction? Uh, I think he purposely deviated from music mm. um, in the sense he understands music. Uh, mm -hmm. I think he's got the ear for it when he was younger. He had the ear. Definitely he was, he was playing by ear and uh, I thought he was going to be a songwriter too because he would make up songs as a kid but as he got older, he kind of didn't want to be in music. But he's still creative because he's a writer. He's mm -hmm. a screenwriter. So trying to break into screenwriting, but yeah. and still maybe holding later a nine-to-five job. 
Yes, yes, as we all do here in mm -hmm. North America. But uh, you know what? I'm personally hoping, selfish, selfish agenda ko as a fan, sana mm -hmm. mag-songwrite din siya kasi grabe the, the pedigree, man. The DNA <laughs> of the kid is going to be, oh my God. Uh, I know, but, uh, but you can't force. You can't, you can't force it. And, and I was teaching him piano when he was little and he was doing well. And then, uh, I don't know, one day he said, uh, I got too much homework to do. <laughs> and then, so we, so we can along down. And then eventually got into hip hop dancing. Okay. And be, became, so uh, became a choreographer in his high school hip hop team and, do you and the captain. Me? Yes, of course I dance. No, <laughs> don't you know me? <laughs> Not that in my well. Head. In my head, in I my do. Head. In my head, I do. You know, can I tell you? Because we were um, co-creator, Sharina and I were already thinking, okay, how are we going to calm down? And then in my head, I said, <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna dance. We're gonna dance it all out in the beginning. Para matanggal lahat. Pero I think I'm okay now. After okay? 15 minutes, I'm okay now. It's no longer yeah. that weird. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's just like two Capis talking. We friendships. Pareho po kami Capricorn. One or two mm, days two, lang ang difference. Two days. Two days. Of, I'm on the 13th. Your 13, 14, 15. 15. Yan, 15. yan, yan, yan. Come on, Capricornies. 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 <laughs> um. When I was about 14, yeah, nah, 14, 15, 16, OQ, I had a lot of angst, you know, the teenage angst. Yeah, of course. Uh, of we course, all went right? through that. Mm -hmm. We all went through that. And my question for you now, was there a special kind of ache or emptiness that you were feeling during that time? Kaya ka napasulat? Uh, when I started writing songs, I think I was, even before high school, you know, I would, you know, sing what I'm doing. <laughs> like, um, if I'm playing around, I would score myself, you know, in my head, mm -hmm. of course. But uh, as I got into high school, and it all started, uh, like, matter-of-factly, I yeah. said, uh, I'm going to write a song, yeah. not even like thinking if I've ever done done it before or not, so... I'm imagining like a happy homework. I enjoy this. I'm going to do this. Just like you're doing mm. homework, which some nerds Oh, no, enjoy. I would rather no, I would rather do uh, songwriting than homework, <laughs> especially oh. math. Um, yes, terrible yes, of math. course. Oh, especially. Mm. Oh, same. Me too. <laughs> yeah. So, so it was more a matter of fact thing. It was not because... May mga bumubulwak na lalim. May mga bumubulwak na mga emotions. Well, it's not. I think I think it started matter of factly, but yeah. eventually, yes, um, there would be some sort of. Uh, the process was when I was starting to write songs, and this happens still. It it's like you have to purge something out. Now where that need to purge comes from, I have no idea. But sometimes I would wake up in the middle of the night and the song I dreamt of is already completed. So I just have to transcribe it. So I've, I've written a couple of songs now from, from a dream state into... Wow. So Shemper, you have to figure out, wait, is this really my song or did I hear it yeah. from somebody else? Yeah. <laughs> And one, one, one funny story. I don't mm. even think this is a funny story, but when I first uh, got together with Boji in the studio, we were showing off each other's songs that have never been performed or never yeah. been recorded. So I was, uh, was telling him about the songs that I wrote. Uh, Sana, I could record this. You know, mm. I would let him listen to it and he would say, oh yeah, that's a good song. We can, we can fix that. And do okay. that and then he would he he had me listen to one of his songs okay he was starting the song and sabiko i know that song and i would sing along with him and he said how come you know this song sabiko because i wrote that song and then he said no i wrote this song and then yeah. sab sabinya there's no way you could have written this song i recorded this song when i was 13. my brother paid for the studio and it got airplay in one radio station only at night after midnight. 
<laughs> okay? <laughs> Something like that. Uh-huh. Kumbaga, no, no payola kasi. Right. Lang. So somebody was kind enough to just play the record that he, he made when yeah. he was 13 years old. And this was that song. Okay. And then all the while, I thought it was mine. Because I probably only heard it once. And it's and stuck. And it stuck in my head. And I, I could never remember all the words, but I you knew have the, the melody. melody. And I remember, it? yeah. Uh, well, I remember the first line. I think, somebody loves you and wants you to know. Da, 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 da. So mm. I said, what the heck? That's my song. And then he said, no, it's my song. So that's that, that was the weirdest thing. But that at the same time, weird. I feel like it's kismet that we were really Definitely meant to kismet. get yes. to know each other. You know. The 13-year-old Boji was already in your... I already heard the music of the 13-year-old Boji when I yeah. was 11 because he's two years older than me. So. Yeah. Na kayo. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you yeah. believe in... Um, uh, we're, we're gonna get a little woo woo, guys. Okay. Well, like, like yes. uh, reincarnation, past lives. Hmm. Are you? Are you? Um... Ako personally, hmm. I don't know, but uh, Boji was a big believer, so he has this uh, idea that we will we have met before and we will meet again over and over again because we were really meant to be together. So we could be twins, maybe. Maybe we were twins in a twin previous souls. life. They call Get that on. twin flames, mm. twin souls. So tell me about this photo. <laughs> tell me. <laughs> I really should stop uh, posting my own pictures on Facebook. It's, so cute. it's haunting me now. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, I Girl think Scout. I was in. No, this was before Girl Scouts. This was like brownies or. Ano ba sa Pilipinas? Star Scout. Star Something Scout? like that. Okay. Yeah. It's before, you, it's pre, it's pre Girl Scout days. Oh, you kanang kana kapala, no? Kana, kano? <laughs> yeah. Well, no. there are times I am more mestiza looking than some, you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you could be, you know, uh, anong tawag nila ngayon? They have a name for that. Ambiguous. Mm. There's ambiguous uh, with your, they, they can't yeah. even figure out what you are, right? I bet. No, no. They they say I I hear an accent, but I said well, you're asking me what my pedigree is. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. it. in a, in sort of paikot way. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the paikot way of your creative practice, because mm. as an artist, and I we have a lot of artists. Wait, before I continue, OQ. Mm. Yeah. May, may patalastas. Oh, hello, patalastas. Hello, hello. Raquel, Jonah, just very fast. If you want to take a drink of water, okay, go ahead. Menchi, my MKM. Uh, let's see who else. Beck, Mary, Evelyn. These are the early birds that were here even before we were here. Mary, um, Eliza, Isa, hello. Um, Dolly, Beck, and Cecile. Olan, Mary Ann, Isabel. And everybody else that came on the live um, stream right now, thank you very much for being here. We appreciate you so much on TCSP with the one and only OQ. Odette but how, how do people get to watch this on Facebook? Are we live, live. now? On? Oh, okay. Yes. Right. We are also live on YouTube, the TCSP channel on YouTube. Oh, okay. All right. Which is a first. By the way, hello, YouTube. So I even offered to Fe, I Fe, start mo na yung Kasi Fe wants to start a podcast as well. She was our guest. Oh, in- actually, matagal na namin na iisip yan eh. Alika na. Bisa nga na isip namin yung ano namin eh, yung walang kakwenta kwenta ng usapan namin ng gawin namin podcast. Guys, don't you think? Guys and gals, don't you think OQ and Fe should have a <laughs> podcast? Raise your hands if you agree. Wala akong time eh. Ilan, I ilan. Don't like that excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Wala akong time means you're, it's not time yet. You're just not interested in it yet. It's a yet, but we're all yeah. hoping that you would. Um, no, the, there, was this, the, there was this concept I was giving Fe before you. Pa, ka, pa, cafe, cafe. 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 Yeah. 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 Well, tell us about and it. And this is like almost 20 years ago when I first told her about it. Hindi pa uso ang podcast podcast. Hindi, hindi podcast. I want her to do like a morning talk show. Yeah. Yeah. Like, in time. You know, 
as Ate Cecil always says, in God's time, chicken. <laughs> yeah. Sana mag si Ate Cecil, pero medyo nahiya pa ako magtanong ka, timing ang ko. Timing, 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 timing. Okay. Creative process hmm. of OQ. Um, <laughs> creative when you, process. Do you have a process? Or Not wala? Really. Basta, parang reseta, sulat lang. <laughs> no, when I, was, when I was younger and I was really just a songwriter, hmm. I would write every day. Just do anything, look at a blank page and, yeah. and just write. I write sometimes come away. Journal? No, no, write the song. Songs na kaagad. Every day, every day, every day. Okay. I wasn't much into journaling. Mm. But I was, uh, I was constantly writing. At least once or twice a day, I would try it out. And then if something comes, then I would do it. I would finish it. Mm. Pero kung wala, even just uh, a line or two, I would keep that. And then come back to it. And then if it, if it uh, inspires me to finish it, then I finish it. But sometimes I can connect two songs if I've written it another day and then written a different idea or melody. I've done that. I've had songs uh, now coming from two different sets of ideas and then I gel them together another time. Merge it together. Um, Fuse it. Yeah, fusion. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, while I'm asking you questions, I'm going to try something new. You know, us Cappies, we like experimenting and trying new things. I'm going to play a game with our... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to play a game, but at the same time, it's a question for the audience. Okay. And then you confirm or deny if it's correct. Okay, guys, are you ready? I know you sent me something, but I never got a chance to read it. I was so busy later. at work. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. But thank you. Even if you're busy at work, you still gave us a chance. Okay, mm -hmm. guys, are you ready? Here's a question for our um, the, the gallery. Okay, here we go. What movie came after Baguettes? Baguettes. Wait, the movie that came, wait, before Baguettes, sorry, that Oki wrote for. Kasi akala natin, baguets yung growing up. At saka yung fair. Teka, ako ba sasagot nito o ibang tao? Ibang tao. We're gonna wait. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna wait for them to answer. Uh, and the first person to answer will get a free membership to our patreon.com slash chikipineta membership. Free membership po. Okay. okay, ready? What was the movie? Oh, and we have a winner. Jonah. You are the winner to love again. Yay! To Jonah. Okay, to love again. It's the one with Sharon and Miguel. And, um, Miguel uh, Rodriguez. Yes. And um, the song to love again was actually the wrong theme. Mm -hmm. I, I read that. Tell us about that. Bakit mali? Well, the synopsis they gave me hmm. had the protagonist yeah. dying in it. So yeah. the original. Uh, yeah. the original. I think I think Miguel's part, he was supposed to die. Yeah. Or but, it's not very clear anymore. I wish I kept the synopsis. I think I never should have thrown I don't I don't I don't pack rat. So I don't keep my memorabilia. Uh, <laughs> no, because I keep moving. I keep moving. Yes, yes, yep. I understand. So you, you gotta, you gotta get rid. Yes, I gotta get rid of stuff. I have. I'm very, very sentimental. I, I it takes me a while to get rid of stuff, but once I get rid of it, I get rid of it. Yeah, because the practical part of you. Mm -hmm. Umaangat dun sa pagka. Uh... Yeah. I still have a storage that I've been paying for for ten years. With bodgy stuff in it, so you, you can imagine. So yes. I I cannot keep everything. <laughs> no, no, no. One day, that's a yet, but one day you'll get there. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. iba yung iba yung uh, script, and then you wrote. And then yeah, yeah it, it, script. Doesn't make any sense to even call the movie to love again after that. Right, but it's still, it's just still. I actually have to watch the movie again because the last time I saw it was when it was 
uh, played in the theaters. So I have to watch it now that I'm older. Yeah. Just to see if it really makes sense to call it to love again. <laughs> it didn't matter to us. It didn't yeah. matter at all. Okay, next okay. question for our audience. Okay. Ready audience? Kunyari na sa studio tayo, kunyari lang. Okay. Um, ito hindi niyo makukuha pero pag nakuha niyo to, believe na ako sa inyo. What is the Tagalog song? What was is the Tagalog song that OQ entered sa Metropop before she became the OQ that she is with Till I Met You. Wait, kahit ako, hindi ko na maalala ko. <laughs> <laughs> OQ, ganun kapangit yung song. Because you in all interviews oh. that I've I've come across, no. it, was, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. No, it wasn't. No, because I was thinking, alam mo na yung mga certain songs that you join contest with yeah. has to sound like a certain uh, makibaka, oh. nasa sayo, yung, yeah. magsimula ka, yung mga ganun. Yeah. So, I, gusto ko ng something like that, but you know, my my Tagalog lyric writing is not as, as good. So, yeah. And it felt forced because it wasn't inspired. Yeah. So I kind of just threw that out the window. <laughs> Pati ikaw, hindi mo rin palalam yung title. Wala namang kwentang question yun. Okay, <laughs> question. What was the song? Mapunta tayo kay Ku, friends. Uh, Hardy, mm -hmm. are you uh, ready for the next, the next one? Okay, here we go. What song of OQ changed Ku's mind about singing Oku's song. Anong kanta yun na nagpabago sa isip ni Miss Kula Desma? Kasi nung una, ayaw niyang kantahin yung mga kanta ni Oku. Can we De, say isa that? Lang, isa lang nga ayaw niyang kantahin. Isa lang yung isang oh. kanta, okay? So I gave her a, a demo of three songs and she didn't, she took one but she didn't take the other one. Right, right. Kasi mm -hmm. ayaw niya yung theme or what, what at it? the moment, at the moment, she she wasn't too keen on the theme of the song. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but what was uh, what was the question again? No, wala tuli ako. <laughs> ano yung song na nagpabago sa isip ni Miss Kula Desma? Because there was a a song that was um uh what's the word? Yung yung naging instrumental na narinig niya sabi niya ay okay after hearing that. Ito eh, sinulat. Oh, by the way, let me uh, acknowledge that I am copy uh, plagiarizing some of the questions according to Ria Grana's article on the ANCX. Oh, so, okay. So I, I get the question now. What was the song that made Ku want to have me write songs for her? That's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh -oh. <laughs> Pag-a-tayo ng trabaho, please. Kasi... Oh, sige. Interviewin ko na sarili ko. <laughs> <laughs> Makikinig na lang ako kasama ng kalahatan. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi po ako ganito kabobo usually. Mas, I am much smarter than this, but there's something happening in the air tonight. So, again, <laughs> what was the song, thank you, OQ, that um, helped... Uh, ano nga ba? <laughs> that made Ku want to have me write for her. Yeah, and that was what I was saying kanina. <laughs> you confused me. Okay, okay, so, naintindihan niyo po ba yung question? Ano yung kanta yun? Ready, go! Maglagay ng music, ayaw, ayaw. Natataranta na rin kasi si Cherie. <laughs> no? Ay, mali, 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 mali. mali. Understand the question again. Sorry, I, I confused everybody by saying about the the cassette. No, that's not the question. Ni Chiki is, ano yung song ko that I wrote that Ku heard that made her want me to write for her. In other so, words, na pabilib, na pabilib mm. si Ku because of this song. Sinung samagot na? Sino na? Mali mali na yung mga sagot nyo eh. Pero may isang tumama. It's Meron? don't know what to do, don't know what to say. Yes. Uh -oh. Applause! Yay! Yay! It's Daryl. Uh, 
Agpasa gets a free membership to the Patreon. Okay, tell Wait. me more about that one. Ang daming questions about don't know what to do, don't know what to say. Bakit? I know the answer already, but I will let you answer. So it's an interrogation. What's, the, oh, what's, what's uh, Well, I think this is the most uh, the most interviewed uh, song and mm -hmm. question. The the inspiration behind it was a, when when I was watching TV. Uh, it was my seventeenth birthday, mm -hmm. so that was forty years ago. Forty. So happy birthday song. Happy birthday. And, um, I was watching TV and ang guest nila that morning in Good Morning Manila was uh, what's Michael Johnson. Mm -hmm. So Michael Johnson is famous for that song Bluer, Bluer Than Blue and ano song yun? Bluer Than Blue Oh May isa pa, may isa pa. Uh, I, I, I'll always love you. Even sad is hard. Heart of mine, I do. Okay, so yun, uh, guest show because I think he was promoting a concert. And then he was asked by the host, how would you best describe yourself? And he said, I'm a hopeless romantic. And it's ding. No, I, I go. Ganun lang ka simple. And then I turned off the TV and wrote the song. Took my guitar because no. my guitar was just there. <laughs> within reach <laughs> it's so natural to you and i would say it's because of this lady who played and sang and just was you she immersed you in music no you, that's my you, aunt i mali <laughs> that's my auntie sabi sa facebook mom I ah the comments the comments were no. wrong they just keep saying oh your mom looks like you okay no. anyway but this is mom's sister. That's my uh, mom's uh, younger sister. She passed away now. But... I'm sorry. But okay, let's uh, pretend this is your mom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mom, uh -huh. what, what do you feel when the word mom comes up? What, what are the emotions that that evokes for you? Mother. My mom? Mm -hmm. My mom? Mm hmm uh, mm -hmm. I had the coolest mom. I, I grew up with having a, the coolest mom ever. Yeah. Uh, she was not strict at all, but at, kaya nga, I was roaming around the hotel by myself. I know. Uh, oh. She was a jazz musician. She played mm -hmm. the piano. She sang. And we kind of had a vagabond kind of lifestyle. Yes. But so then when it was try time to go to school, I was left with my grandmother. Yeah, uh, your so grand could, grandma took care yeah. of you from ages what to age what? Uh, and uh, then five till uh, till until it was time for me to take care of her. That's right. Yeah. So, laking lola. Laking lola. Was she as musical as mom? Uh, yes, but not as. Yeah. My grandmother was a frustrated singer. I see. And she married a musician. My mm. grandfather was a musician. So she loved oh, to sing, yeah. wanted me to be a singer. I <laughs> didn't want to do that. Stage Lola. Stage Lola talaga. Stage Lola talaga. Okay. Um, all right. Last game question for you guys. This mm. is really, because, no, oh my God, the audience. Ako yung natataranta sa 61. <laughs> I know, okay, you're so used to 100,000. Pero sanay po kami sa 20, 30 lang dito. Pero nasa 61 na po ang ating viewers. <laughs> 61. 61 na. Natataranta na po kami dito. Okay, the last game question to get mm. a free membership is, where was OQ when the inspiration for Till I Met You hit? Where oh, was okay. when that spark of inspiration hit? for the song till i met you okay ready answer go dun, dun, dun. Ang bagal ng producer music. <laughs> ritz said hawaii nope ah okay mary one bilis ni mary and maan kasi hi maan that's our friend maan she keeps mm -hmm. sending me photos of you and her in a bus is the right answer you were in a bus because tell us about it um, oh, I was in, 
when I you, ah, okay you so me. I was at College of Music in UP mm-hmm. and I was taking the bus home and I got in the bus and behind me I sat in front of them were two girls uh, not sure if they're from UP or from Ateneo but it's the same bus line kasi. Is it the but love anyway, bus? No, the, the, walang okay. aircon to. Walang aircon. Walang aircon. <laughs> kasi baka kung love bus ako yun kasi naglalabas ako. <laughs> <laughs> de, uh, <laughs> di, di ko eh. yeah, yeah. Anyway, so there's these two girls uh, were talking behind me, and mm-hmm. one other, uh, you know, I never knew what love was until I met this guy. <laughs> Then, Perfect line. So sabi ko, meron pa ako yung yung papel ko ginamit yung pinaka brown bag ba nung, I just bought yung music sheets. Yes. So I had my new music sheets inside that brown bag. That's where I wrote the line. Wow. Then as soon as I got home, I wrote the song, Till I Met You. Right. You know, yung hook. Parang kumakain ng chichiria. Ganun lang po kadali ang mag-compose para sa isang okay. Well, hindi naman. Easy. Pero kasi it comes naturally. It was, it was very natural for me. It's like, it's like writing... Um, I guess journaling instead of just journaling I was yeah. setting it to music. Oh my god. For for our creatives watching right now, I call them artistas because artists come from the heart. Artistas. Heart, artistas. Um would you consider teaching a songwriting or creativity class? Is that something mm. that would be fun for you? Fun? I yeah. don't know. Um mm. When I used to produce, Shempre, they would give me mga demos. Sometimes I would talk to the songwriter to let them know na, you know, can we fix this? Can we change it a little bit here? But yeah. I would never, you know, get any credit for it. Uh, I just let them know that maybe it would be better kung to change it a little bit here, change change it a little bit there. Yeah. But uh, to actually have a class doing that, yeah. I don't know. I I don't think I'm a teacher. Diba yeah. sabi na, those, those who can't do teach. Right, but you're doing. So, but I can do, that's why I don't know if I can teach. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Mm. Okay, before we bring in a very special friend of ours who is already in the green room. Hi, Dali! Because I want her to ask a couple of questions to another Imimami from Portland. Mm. Portland. Um, I'm going to do a rapid fire uh, because uh, Ma'an, the one that just won because she knew where you were exactly and answered bus. Ma'an, these are Ma'an's questions, okay? Okay. Rapid fire. Uh, maximum one word. No. Three words maximum. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 As little so, as word possible. association. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Uh, producer, can we put a teeny tiny bit of music, please? Miss Australia? Chowing. Okay, ready? First question is, how did your parents get your name, Odette? Um, it was my mom who picked the name. I think from, from uh, was it Swan Lake? I from think. Swan Lake. Okay. Swan Lake. How would you describe yourself as a mother? Strict or easygoing? Uh, you should ask my son, but I think I was very easygoing uh, with, a, with a dash of strictness. Dash of strict, <laughs> easygoing with a dash of strictness. Okay, guys, remember that. <laughs> easygoing, dash of strict. What are your top three biggest stressors or pet peeves? Top three. One? Uh, people who come late in a meeting or in, in a date. You know, if you're supposed to meet in a restaurant at five and... They waltz in at 5.30. Okay. I, late, tardy words, tar- 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 words yeah, Sorry. Tardiness. <laughs> Tardiness. Okay, number two. Uh, what other pet peeves do I have? Questions like this. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would say that. Number three. I'm going to hurt Maan. No, Ma'an. sorry Maan. Sorry. What are my pet peeves? Uh... Traffic. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's almost a given. 
Basta talaga tardiness talaga number tardiness. one. Okay, just number one. Okay. Mm. What uh, next is what is your most hated chore? Cleaning the bathroom. Ah. The toilet, the toilet. Same, same, same. Ding, ding, ding. Oh. And we don't need to ask why. What's your all-time <laughs> favorite dessert? Favorite dessert? Ooh, uh, that's several. I love dessert kasi. But yeah. ice cream, I think. Ice cream. Flavor? Uh, I, I'm a vanilla girl. Mm. The, no nuts. The plain, mm, uh, banana split if I'm gonna be indulging myself. Yeah. Same, Capricorn. What's your go-to dish when you have to make dinner? Um, probably this favorite of my son's is a uh, the one I make white fish with white cream sauce. It has kirin mm. Japanese wine in it, but oh. it's with, cre- with with cream. Um, yeah. Okay, that's easy peasy. Mm-hmm. Set up there. Um, do you have any other interest or hidden talents? Name one. Interest? Can you juggle? No, I wish. Um, Yellow swords. Well, last. Last year, I started dabbling in, in in painting. Do you like to recharge alone or around other people? Around other people. Are you an introvert or an extrovert or an ambivert? Ambivert? I've never heard of an ambivert. Uh, I'm an I think, ambivert. I think I'm an introvert. Mm. I but think I am. But charge around other people. Mm. Has to be with friends. Mm. Close, has to be with my close friends. Closest oh. friends. What close was the last friends. thing that made you laugh out loud? Oh, uh, I think one time we were driving to Napa with my friend and we just started doing bad lyrics in the in the car. <laughs> like bad lyrics. Uh, we were singing along bad lyrics and nagkakaroon na ng sexual innuendos. It was very, very funny. So, yeah, that was I memorable. Think, I, I think I was part of that game back in the day. We love mm. playing that game. Yeah, yeah, with Lenny and yeah, in the car. Um, okay, last one before we bring in um, Dolly for her questions. Can you please describe each of your super friend in one word? One word, OQ. Ready? Dapat na, dapat na paghandaan ko to eh. Tinanong kay Faye to eh. Inigay ko kaya sa'yo. <laughs> Ay, hindi ko nga na-check. <laughs> I know. Okay, Faye? Go. We'll start with your BFF. Eh. Oh, start with Faye. Faye? Uh, she's one my word. sister. Sister. My sister. Uh, Ate Cecil? She's my other sister. <laughs> <laughs> Jam? Um, okay, okay, okay. Si Jam is uh, sweet. Very sweet. Doc Lenny. Very generous. <laughs> Spicy, generous. Bernie. Uh, uh, Bernie, I kind-hearted. Isabella? Wacky. <laughs> cool. Diva. Perfect. I mean, that's that's really how she is. I mean, that she's. Really I'm, it's not you know. It's not a bad thing to say. No. It's just that she is. Yes. Yeah. I am a self-proclaimed diaspora diva. <laughs> Anion. Anion. <laughs> Displaced diva. Displaced. Uh, Displaced okay. diva. Um, I think that's it. All right. All right, so these are the speedy questions. And then we are going to bring in Dali Pangan Spect. Hi, Dali. Dali. Surprise, OQ. Surprise. <laughs> How are Hello, you? Hello, everyone. Hello to all the listeners. Hello, Atises. Hello, Hello, listeners. There. I know you're there. Oh, Watchers, listeners, everything. Mm. Odd. And thanks, oh, Chicky, yeah. for inviting. This is so uh. exciting. My Hello pleasure. From Portland, thanks, for saying, thanks for saying yes to this. Thank you. Okay. It's, Do you have questions for a special to guest? Hello to Odette, so. Yes. I love the and hair, by the way. What color is it right now? I'm trying to figure. Is it you know purple? What? Blue? 
my so, hair right now is blue. Yeah, blue. Bluer, Bluer than, blue. than blue. Yes, that's right. Sadder than sad. It's perfect for Odette's song. Yes. I, I colored my hair just for this show. So what I, song? <laughs> you just said the inspiration. Bluer the inspiration than blue, your inspiration. Yeah. Oh, no, the guy so who wrote the song. song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway. I have the blues. Okay, what did you want? <laughs> uh, no, I wanted to say hi. You said descriptions for all your super friends. I'm a super friend, Saling Pusa. So, so what did you say? Okay, Dali is... Uh, what's coming to mind is a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fair, because I was born in the year of the tiger. So oh, you were? Okay, oh, see? Yes. Oh, I am, I am psychic. psychic. Psychic, psychic. You are so psychic. Psych. <laughs> Rumi, what are your questions for OQ? Well, first you have to explain why you call me Rumi. Ah, kailangan pa bang explain yun? That's a trivia. No, just trivia. a trivia question because you normally in your podcast, which yeah. I've watched every single one of, you always explain like Chawi, how you, you became, you how explain. you became, how you became. That that no, question, you know, I, that explanation is for your interview when it's your turn. Ah, it's a good this question. is then this we, is OQ's interview. This is an OQ's interview. Can you tell no. me about okay? Contrary to the most popular song, which is part of my life of why I am a fangirling over you. My favorite me? story. My favorite song is actually my favorite story. So tell. Us about the background of my favorite story when people have the idea that it's about a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Uh, my favorite story was written by myself and, and Boji uh, for our kid, Darian. Um, you know, when we've noticed that when we talk to our friends and we are probably one of those annoying couples, um, mother, uh, uh, and father that talk about their kids all the time. I have one kid, and you, we always say, "Ah, oh, si Diane, yeah, si Diane, yeah, si Diane, yeah. So one time we were talking, and sabi ko kay Boji, I guess Darian is our favorite story. <laughs> and then we, he said, "Let's write a song about that." Well, and then that's how it came to be. Well, thank you for writing it because it is my favorite song. Right. Mm. Right now. But you got married with... Till I met you. And yeah. That was just uh, serendipitous. And then I met you also through mm. our mutual friend, Seth. And I have to say, okay, to everybody who's listening, uh, Chicky mentions super friends. There are a bunch of ladies uh, in the music industry and not, sort of, like Doc Lenny and... Uh, well, Bernie's also musical. Well, uh, see, Doc Lenny is the most showbiz sa aming lahat. <laughs> Well, in a sense, because he's a producer. <laughs> so, uh, but I, I was very fortunate to be able to, uh, you know, tag along for a couple mm. of times. And I have to say that Cheeky, that's Cheeky and Odette and the rest of these women are, well, outside of Pooh, who's, who is diva in a good way, are really the good most way. real people so we were it, oh. yeah. mm -hmm. and i call odette my kambal taas because we had the same <laughs> sense of humor but we are totally opposite in uh dimension in everything else <laughs> <laughs> okay i didn't really have much question because she answered a Senti lot of things sentiment her life sentiment of oq um, sentiment of oq yeah what is the sentiment that you one the one sentiment you'd want to share with OQ? The one sentiment I have with OQ is how easy she really is. Uh, like I said, you know, with you I spent an afternoon just being a lalai and with the group, lalai? with the, the, group, the, no, the I mean group, group, a lalai no, no, cla you, clarify, I clarify. No, by a lalai I was co a no, lalai with yes, you. Yes, not only that, kami driver ako, Correct. Sa navigator. Pinagmamaneho namin sila Mitch Valdez. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> you were so touring that's why them I'm in San Francisco. By Odette is like one of the most real people that you think it's like oh because she's Odette Quesada, she's like has to be special. She was super. 
And I super, super chuper, yes. Super chuper, super chuper. And this was the time I was living in LA. Lumipad pa ako para maging driver for the weekend. <laughs> Ay, ako rin nga, di ba? Lumilipad para lang maging otosan. Eh, ang saya naman kasi talaga eh. Masaya talaga. Masaya. masaya. Yeah. Kasing so, saya ng iyong hair. Yeah. So, if when you have the opportunity to somebody invite you, because I was just invited, and somebody invites you, just don't be intimidated and tag along because they are truly one of the best people I've ever encountered. Individually wow. and as a group. Kailangan niya ang applause. Kailangan niya ang applause. Hugs and applause. Thanks so much for that, Dolly, for your questions and the special sentiment. And until you come and be a guest, bye bye. Bye bye. I will. Looking forward. You'll to have it. your Thank turn. You. Bye, OQ. You'll be. Bye. See you soon. Are you coming See in to Portland? San See you in Portland. You're Show going to this. Portland? Uh, I'm hoping to because. Yeah. I've I've been wanting to. <laughs> I didn't do that. How that happened? Oh, for the question. <laughs> so okay. So do you have a limit time limit on us? OQ? No. Can we um can we keep going? I have go. to ask because we've been on for almost an hour now. Cause how long is your show? Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Today, today. <laughs> the whole day of today. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay, so I think we're good. Okay, we're good? All right. So I have, I don't know, um, you didn't read the thing that I sent, so I will try to read it to you. I had okay. three, three things that I hope to take away from this conversation today. Okay. The top three ones, because there's so many things, right? So many. But I wanted to encourage your kind of courageous creativity for our viewers. Um, Because a lot of us are palaging hesitant to just put it out there. And you seem to be the kind of person who just, you know what? Contest? Go. Uh, Cool? Mm, Ask. Although your Lola did help. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> so that is one of the things that I wanted to find out from you now. How does that courage and creativity come up? I'm not as courageous as you think. In fact, the, the older I got, the less courage I had. Um, I think part of uh, the courageous courageous uh, creativity you were, were talking about was when I was younger. Mm-hmm. I was really like, mm-hmm. I was, I, well, there's a word for it. It's, it's cockiness. It's yeah. like, yeah. I want, I want to do this. I want to handle my songs. I want to be my own publisher. I, I don't want to sign up with any publishing companies in the Philippines. Uh-huh. So I protected my songs in that way. And uh, another thing is if, if I set a goal, I it's like a it's like a bucket list for me that okay I'm gonna be the youngest kid to win the Metro Pop after watching Louis Ocampo win it when he was like I think 18 or 19 years old. Sabiko, I'm gonna be the youngest after that, Sabiko. And then true enough, I just turned 17 when I won the first time. I know that's young. So so. I was just setting goals because I didn't know my limit. So I think that's very important. That's why most of the uh, most of the, the artists who become very successful, they start young. Yeah. They they could achieve a lot of stuff because there's no fear because right. you've never failed. Sometimes that helps. And then age and experience and life getting in the way, yeah, kind of erodes all the other courage or whatever cockiness, cockiness you have. That you yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Used to have. You know that quote? I love this quote from, I, I think it was Picasso who said, everybody's born an artist. It's um, how to remain an artist when you grow up is the That's issue. That's hard. For mm-hmm. A lot of people, right? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. 
you, because life gets in the way. You got to put in food in the, in, in the table. Yeah. However, in your case, it was established at such a young age. Yeah. So, naka... Yun lang yung advantage ko. I just started young. Yeah. And I had the platform to join, yes. which was the Metropop. It yes. kind of opened doors for me after that. Uh, so, the Metropop was your idea? So To join? Yeah. To join? Yes. What did you I joined when I was in high school. Yeah. Again, with another Tagalog song that I the thought unnamed was... Unnamed Tagalog song. <laughs> and then uh, I was already living in... After graduating high school, I was living in Hawaii. My grandmother got a letter from Metropop. It's actually meant for me yeah. uh, to rejoin the, the following year because I hit, like, maybe... The first time I joined, I hit maybe top 200, you mm. know. And then so not they right sent there. out, not mm -hmm. quite there. Yeah. So after that, I let, let's, maybe I can join again. And so I, I entered with Give Me a Chance. So that. <laughs> And the rest is history. <laughs> the rest is history. And, and the it. rest, the rest is forty Metro years Pop. ago. Thank God for Metro Pop. Kung walang Metro Pop, meron I wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't know. I don't think so because I wouldn't know how to how to have joined um, yeah. or I didn't know anybody in the record industry. Nah, but so I it's, think it kind of leveled the playing field. Yung yes. nag open up sila for for amateur division. Yeah. Destiny. So, you believe in destiny? I think so, yes. I do. So even without the Metro Pop, you would have still found... Boss Vic would still have found you. I don't know. Yun lang nga kasi because I was already abroad. I was already living in the States, so... Maybe you would have been... And I was, I was going to go to college now. Huh? Maybe you would have become international. That would have been... Dang it. Dang, Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it, pala yun. <laughs> Sayang. Sayang. Um, there are a lot of fans of OQ and um, the late Hanka Hanka Yamines from New York, Rick Segreto. Mm. Um, I, I know the question has been asked many times, what's he like in person? <laughs> but I need uh, to ask you. She, she the fans really are mad. Mm. He's a he's a nice guy. Uh, best this, because there was a time makapit bahay kami. As in, um, he was living in this condo. We were living in this condo in Sasedo Village. Yeah. And he would come over. I had my baby na no? He would come over and then. Hold on. What's what? for breakfast? What's for dinner? What's for lunch? Oh, this was after and after all. Um, after yeah, after I got married, I had Darian, and we had a recording studio in Salcedo Village. We also lived there. Yes. And, and he, he was there. just really magkalikut magkatalikut yung building namin. Wow. So he would come. That's when I really, really, really got to know him. But before that, we were already close. Pero iba yon kasi araw araw halos yun. <laughs> Dumadaan siya sa bahay namin. Barkada, naging barkada na lang siya. Parang... Him and him and my uh, my husband used to really talk like yeah. kasi syempre I had to tend to Darian so yeah. I would leave them alone and yeah. They became really very close friends. Now they're so, buddies in heaven. Mm, you know, <laughs> they're buddies in heaven. They're buddies in heaven now. Um can we uh, dive a little bit deeper, OQ? This is the one that I was telling you about during our intake. Okay. Phone. I'm going to ask you a question that Paco Ares Paco Chaga, because like research, po, mm -hmm. asked, and then mm -hmm. you kind of deviated away from it. Okay. Um, the question is you actually uttered the words, I was not really suicidal, but there were times that I wanted the earth to swallow me whole. Yeah, that, what that was that? after, yeah, that was probably the first few months after Boji passed. And every time I would wake up, I wasn't happy about waking up in yeah. the same situation again, you know, not having him around. Uh, yeah. So, but, you, you know, every young. morning was another day. So yeah. Baby steps. <laughs> How long did it take 
you to recover? Um, I needed a diversion and thank God somebody offered me a job. So, yeah. So I, I, I had friends who had friends, you know, and then and work. they you called me. Trabajo yeah. is what saved me. Work, work, work saved me because it gave me some diversion from my own brain, yeah. <laughs> from my own uh, wallowing in self-pity or, or depression, if you want to call it depression. I mean, it's, it's normal man, to be depressed after your husband or your partner. And, and he was my husband, my partner, my songwriting partner, and the father of my kids. So, and your I'm, best friend. And my best friend. And that's all in one. So yeah. I lost like four or five people that day. Yeah, yep. I understand that completely. Um, I'm trying to see if we have a photo of... Uh, no, it's not here. Maybe That's later. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I saw this picture of you singing and it, he was right behind you in the blue screen. That was beautiful. Um, oh, okay. Were, were you singing my favorite, Habang Panahon? Probably. I'm not, I don't know what, which picture. Yeah. Um, Boji, my friends, wrote a beautiful song. Well, he wrote a lot of beautiful songs. Beautiful songs. Alena Salangit na ba ako is one of those iconic pieces. <laughs> and then, ano pa nga ba? Sana dalawa ang puso ko. Yeah. Yeah, which turns out to be about a couple of cars. He's trying to make a decision which car to buy. Oh, that breaks Sana me. dalawa ang budget ko. <laughs> <laughs> uh, kami naman lahat, akala namin, wow. Ano, hmm. meron ba siyang iba? Meron bang, is this... <laughs> In real life, koche lang yeah. pala yun. Koche lang. Koche lang pala. OQ, I have um, uh, a letter sender because we are cheeky stories. So if you know letters. Have, there is one letter sender that I asked to read. I asked, okay. I requested her to read. So let's take a couple of beats here and listen to the love story of Charm. Charm. Oh, sorry. My ultimate favorite until now is don't know what to do, don't know what to say. <laughs> Grabe. Napaka-hopeless romantic talaga ng song na yan. I remember I had this long-time crush when I was young. Very young. I was only eight. Please don't judge me. <laughs> I was only eight when I saw our super good-looking neighbor. And I felt like he'd be my prince charming. And I was serious with my young feelings for him then. And that feeling remained constant until I grew up. As in feeling ko siya na talaga yung mapapangasawa ko in the future. But no, we had no idea. We don't talk and I only see him from afar. Pasuliap-suliap lang. But whenever I see him, grabe, parang instantly I could hear Rick Segreto singing in the background. Sobrang totoo yung line na when you pass by I could fly. Until 8 years later, I was finally 16. We were given the chance to talk and know each other better. It was New Year's Eve, so alam nyo na in the province. So nagkasalubong kami around 12 midnight. And the next thing I knew, 5 a.m. na. Grabe, 5 hours. I guess, ganun talaga when you're having fun at kinikilig-kilig kita, masyadong mabilis yung oras, hindi mo na napansin. At the highlight of that night, it was when he asked me to sing. Of course, I grabbed the chance. Nakakaya, but go lang ng go. I sang Don't Know What To Do, Don't Know What To Say because that song is for him. It's our story. Hindi niya lang ala, pero parang confession ka na pala yung song na yun. And to cut our long story short, we didn't work, but whatever we were in that moment, it was definitely one of the best things ever. And it's something I treasure forever. So it's sad, but uh, I guess yun na talaga yung time for the part of the song na someday you'll feel this feeling I have for you inside. That sabi nga, it's a friend of mine, then again, I'm glad. I'm glad that it still happened. Moving forward, nakapagdil ay met yun ako to the one I'm with now. Thank you, Miss Odette, for gifting us with your music. Paano na lang ang mga love stories ko at ng lahat ng Pilipino kung wala ka. And thank you, Miss Chiki, for encouraging us to share. Sa wedding namin, syempre kakantahin din dapat ang How Did You Know. Thank you very much again. God bless and more power to both of you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> nice yeah. story. It's a beautiful story. It's a simple yet common story. I have the same story. Meron din ako Pero ang, ang take away ko doon, five hours, sila nag-usap lang ba sila? Nag-usap lang ba yan? 
Yun din ang naisip ko. Are you sure? <laughs> Uusap lang yun. No, I take okay. it. Uh, very honest si Charm. Because she, she does mm-hmm. write to me a lot uh, direct. Kaya mo, tatanungin ko. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> so, um, okay. So, one of the, if you ask me, what is it about mm. old new songs that make them so timeless? I would say it's the simple elegance of how you sing it and write the songs. It's simple. Oh. It's a simple formula, but it's also elegant. Because there are simple songs, right? Okay, na hindi naman elegant ang dating. Parang ni 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 ni. Happy birthday to you is an example. But yours, <laughs> there's an elegance about it. So well, I appreciate that. Um, wasn't what I set out to do, but I'll take it. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, <laughs> what? Okay, so. Whew. Take a breath. <laughs> Don't you have a glass of wine next to you? I, I'm hoping, Anna. I, know, I was <laughs> imagining wine, Sana. No, it's water. I'm just imagining oh. it's wine. Pero nakatat, uh, nadoble ko yung CBD oil. Um, for anxiety? Know, for today. Calm. calm. <laughs> Instead of one drop, three drops today. <laughs> what okay what's the uh, because this is the Chicky Stories podcast Chica for immigrant moms immigrant Filipinas oh, okay. what's the best advice you can give to immi mommies feeling the inevitable displacement and disorientation lalo na yung mga bago one two years in you mean you mean who uh, the, the the moms that came to the US North or America, anywhere, or anywhere else in, in the world, world. Um, yeah especially the ones na approve na approve sila Okay. Yeah. Hey, there's well, a wave. Hmm. There's a wave of of it's a wave of, of them coming because of, of the migrants. Sh- you know. Mm-hmm, the yeah. switch. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be tough. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat anything. Um, considering I was used to the states, and so was my husband. He was he were he was here in uh, the late '80s. Um, we both decided to come here because of uh, our kid and uh, pursuit of some normalcy, I guess. Uh, not that we were big deals of Filipinas. It's just that uh, I don't know exactly what my husband's reasons were, and I will never know. <laughs> I just know that he said, what do you think about living in the States, I'd be going, well, I'm definitely sure my mother's going to like that idea because she's in the States. So, What year was it again? Okay. Um, he was in LA and then he came back and he said, um, how do you feel about moving to the States? So that mm-hmm. was, I think, in 2000. No, no. I think 1999. 1999. Gusto and then my and then my I was taking care of my grandmother, so because I can't leave my grandmother. Yeah. Yeah. So then my grandmother passed away January of two thousand. And inintay lang namin mag one year, lola ko, and then we left for the states. Yeah. And then when we got here, I had to enroll my kid to school, and I could see that he was kind of like. What's going on? Why I thought we were just vacationing. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to explain to him, no, you're going to be going to school now yeah. uh, in the States. And it's a good thing he's uh, he's been speaking English because it wasn't like a, um, a culture shock for him mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. he understands and he speaks English. So yeah. it wasn't too much of... Uh, yung bang, the, she he didn't have to be, have to be enrolled in English as a second language course. Yeah, they do that here. But that switch was so migrants. abrupt for you. It was. was an abrupt switch for you. Uh, yeah, yes and no. Because I'm used to to the states. I've been coming here since I was a kid. So, the problem is to actually live here, have your own place, and then the grind. 
Yeah. Because I told Boji, I'm, I'm not skilled at anything other than songwriting. So I go, what am I going to do? I'm not going to be able to do clerical work or anything like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of uh... And so we, we built a studio. We built a studio in the house. Yes. In the place we have, the small place we had. Mm. And uh, you'll be surprised that the vocal booth is our broom closet. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, he just padded the the wall. Right. And that's that's where I would do the demos. Yeah. And we would and produce uh, albums for, you know, kids of uh, Filipinos with, uh, you know, throw away money. <laughs> they just want to spend on their kid, try, try their luck in putting together an album. And then they will see what can happen to their kids if they bring it to the Philippines or whatever they decide to do with their albums. How blessed those kids were, are. They have those <laughs> albums still, right? They do, they do. They mm -hmm. still have it, yeah, from you. I hope. <laughs> so that alleviated whatever uh, feelings of displacement, that particular... Uh, or did you ever feel that displaced like most of us did? Uh, again, the displacement was I. I kept going back to the Philippines when I was younger. I always had the opportunity to stay, but never stayed long enough. Yeah. But I've kind of half assimilated myself. Yeah. So okay. it wasn't a total culture shock for me. But mm -hmm. I guess the, the culture shock was more like after I had, uh, when I actually had to do a nine to five job, <laughs> that was the culture shock for me. Yeah. I've never been in an environment uh, like an office environment before. What was that like? Oh, this that was, was like. Dr. Boji's passing. Yeah, yeah. What was, was that like for you? It was humbling because I totally had no skill whatsoever except I know how to type, okay. <laughs> but, you know, and then I, if, if you know me, I'm not much uh, into uh, phone calls. <laughs> Every time I would get a phone call, I would pass it over. When, uh -huh. when we were, when we were uh, first friends, I would pick up the phone and I say, "Oh, hi, Pe. Gan, ah, si Boji. Ate ka sandali ah. <laughs> Pasa ko lang kagad yun. Yeah. Because I had no time for talking on the phone because I was busy being a mom. So yeah, yeah. And then that's what I had to do. I was always on the phone. I was always with uh, insurance companies, with Kaiser, talk to Kaiser, you know, things like yeah. that. So what is the work? Uh it's. Uh, I was in a. In LA, I was working in an office uh, that provided home health mm -hmm. for patients who have been discharged from the hospital. Mm -hmm. So my mm -hmm. job was to take care of their transition from the hospital to the, to the, to the home and then providing uh, care for them, like sending uh, nurses, physical therapists, occupational therapists, what was the pandemic like for you? Was it busy? You got yeah, we got even more busy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was I was not I was not off uh, work like most people. We were even more busy because of a lot of people are just staying home and doing uh, home health Gosh. instead of being in the hospital because the hospital was overridden with the COVID patients. Yeah. Was that stressful for you? And how did you cope with that? Well, I put the stress on myself because um, when I take on a patient, what I do is I make sure they're staffed. I make sure somebody's going to go out and see them. Yeah. So um, that's very stressful because what if the nurse calls in sick or the physical therapist says he's not coming to work today. So yeah. you got to like, scramble and find somebody else who can go. Okay. That's a stress. So my question for you now is when, do you get overwhelmed at all? Yes. You do? I'm being but it's a good call. Yes. Okay. Uh, how, how do you, um, 
is it a spa day? Do you go to this, you know, the typical, oh, I take no, walks no. in the beach. How does Odette Quesada go I, back, back to center? I, back to center for me is, is watching films or series mm. on TV. I'm a film buff. I've mm. always loved films and I, I'm one of those annoying people who quote lines in movies <laughs> and... <laughs> Research na rin, no? Uh, well, that's yeah, uh, see, that's what I that's what I say. Yes. Yeah, I I I, I love movies. I love. Uh, I'm I'm thankful na during the pandemic that Netflix, Hulu, uh, HBO know. Max, uh, whatever you have live stream. So yeah, it helped me center myself because I would rather just veg out in front of a TV than than go out. But you know, really? mm -hmm. but funny. I do go out. I do go out. I don't but like going <laughs> alone. Mm -hmm. I, if if I'm invited by friends, then I go. Yeah, yeah, close friends. Yeah. Uh, favorite go to. Favorite go place to, to, go to. Restu Is it a restaurant that you would go to? Is it the? Uh... Yeah, uh, we we have we we have this thing now that we try to uh, sample a new restaurant every weekend. So I try, like and then we, and then we we find the one we like and go back there. But now it's let's try something new. Let's try something else. Life is too short to be doing the same things over and over again. Right, especially mm -hmm. after what we've been through. Mm -hmm. Now it's like okay, grab the opportunities when they come because you'll never know. What exactly. has been the biggest lesson of the pandemic for you? If there was any. Are we even done with the pandemic? No, there's monkeypox. So. <laughs> I'd like to say so. Uh, biggest lesson for the pandemic is not to panic. Because mm. a lot of people were panicking, panic buying. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there will always be enough stuff out there. It's just that people were over, uh, over panicking about toilet paper. That, to my, to my brain. It's a good thing I had a son. I would send him out, Darian, go get me some toilet paper. <laughs> Thanks, Darian. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, let me see. Any questions from the peanut gallery? Um, I love that song for the whole album. Dolly's saying something. Okay. Carolyn. Thank you. Showing the simplicity, rawness, and authenticity of the lyrics you wrote made each song so meaningful and felt in the heart. That's from Menju, Menju Coronel Dominguez. I agree. Rawness, and authenticity. Well, which one? The songs? Which are yeah. oh, my songs? Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Menju. Thank you so much, Menju. I couldn't agree more. Um, toilet Paper Rush from Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's a question here, Miss Odette. Are you gonna be married? You will, will you married again? Will you marry again? Should I date first? <laughs> I haven't even dated. Wait, are you since. dating? No, I've never really? dated. Yeah. No, I st I still feel very much married. This is crazy. I know it's crazy. I was no, telling this not. to one of I my friends. So. I I get it. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. <sighs> Because every single day, you know, bodies in my car, in my iPad, in my, in in my Spotify. So, you know, I, he's all over the place. So, okay, this may be a weird question, but do you have conversations with Bodji? Actually, I had a dream about him the other day because I was trying to, I was trying to figure out uh, how to record something. Uh -huh. Because uh, when we had the studio at home. I wasn't really totally paying attention at all the technicalities of, because mm -hmm. he, he would set it up for me and all I have to do is flick a switch and I'm on, my mic is on, uh, the computer is recording if I click record. Now I'm trying to set up something for myself to record something and I couldn't figure it out. So I that night I had a dream, I was talking to him, but I was talking to him about something else. Okay. And totally different. And so 
when I woke up, I said, why did I not ask him about how to put together the recording? <laughs> <laughs> I kept asking him about something else. What were you asking? Uh, I, some, talk about? I was asking him about a passport, <laughs> something to do with the passport. It wasn't even my passport. I was trying to help a friend in my dream mm -hmm. to get the spelling of her name right in the passport. I was asking him, and I even said, I was texting him in my dream. Yeah. And then I even told him, can you please call me na nga? <laughs> so he called. And we were he talking did. for the longest time. Yeah, he called. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, and then I woke up. That was like 4, four o'clock in the morning I woke up. And I said, why did I not bother asking about this, how to put together the, the microphone and the computer together? Did you eventually <laughs> figure it out? I No, I haven't. Um, it's only in the weekends that I can work on those things. So, okay. can't wait for the next uh, <laughs> wave of work to come out. OQ. I we know. We cannot wait for it. I know it's close. Um, they, I just have to figure out how to put together my mic. More and dreams, my, please. And my cube base. My cube base. Hindi ka ata alam yung mga yon. Masarong tech. Cube base. Yun yung ano yun yung recording system you know app we should do a uh, an oq tribute concert chiquitita from um my arranger and pianist hair gutierrez why not talk not that would be amazing mm. um let's do a concert here oq tayo super sure. friends whoever wants to join but produce nothing kay doc lenny <laughs> let's <you> know <laughs> Kami ni pe, kami, kami ni pe, kaladkarin kami, so, anytime. Uh, ako din, basta super friends, kaladkarin din ako, basta super <laughs> friends. Si Jam has been here a few times already. You've so, you've seen each other. Uh, but I've, palaging merong either may sakit or may something, tapos siya nagkasakit. Um, Hindi magkatugma yung schedule, but she's been here a couple of times. Let's make that happen yeah. na, ito na, ito na. Are there any upcoming things that we can look forward to apart from the Pakape Cafe project? Cafe <laughs> yun, cafe yun. Sa inyong dalawa yun? Uh, hindi, kanya yun. Title lang ako, idea lang ako. <laughs> um, we do have something in the works. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, it's being planned. Uh, it's a tour, so it's going to happen soon. Uh Oh, no, nothing, no title, no date yet, just you and Fe? Uh, no, not just me and Fe. I think it's with Ku. I think we're gonna... Who oh, is it this? We're gonna tour All About Love. Oh, the All About and, Love. Come and on. then I, I will be in Manila. Uh, we're trying to finalize the dates. Um, they wanted me there January, but I don't think I can make January work. So, baka March. I'm gonna talk to Noel Ferrer about the schedule. And then uh, we'll do a repeat of Hopeless Romantic. Kasi naudlut siya na. for... Sige. Am I dreaming this, OQ, or did you actually ask me to come home and join you in Hopeless Romantic 1? I think we did. And then ako yung tumangge. I couldn't make it. You said, come fly over and then be a part of the Hopeless Romantic. Or am uh, I just... I don't know. But you know, you're welcome to come and join. <laughs> That's a good mm -hmm. idea. Pero yun na Pilipinas eh. Ano yan? Oh, yeah. Production, the, the budget and everything. Canada is closer. Canada na lang muna. Tayo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be exciting. Okay, let's uh, put a pin on that. Guys, if you want to see OQ in Canada, Dream, dream, dream about it with us because that's how we make Maniginip it. na lang sila. <laughs> Ganun ba yun? Visualize and no, visualize and dream. We're, we're big proponents of dreaming here in TCSP OQ. We are. Ako, I, sabi ko na, I can't even, I can't even quote my own lyrics because I never dream. <laughs> but I do. But I do. <laughs> hey, do you remember that whole hola baloo about it's the wrong tense. Kailangan yung word. I never dreamed. Mali daw. Were you? Mm. Uh, did you hear about that? Because I did. Uh, I did. Yeah, so, I think I did. Um, I never dreamed. Like 
I never dreamed. But it was a period because I never dreamed. That was the statement. Yeah. That was it. For that particular period in time. Mm. Yeah. Well, we, people can always just say anything they wish, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at the time because it's already 10 o'clock. Ikaw, OQ, meron ka bang mga dreams na hindi pa na, uh, ano, uh, it's ako hindi it's not about me anymore it's i'm just it's mostly my dream is to make sure that my son is okay and he's happy i'm not the kind of mom who would you know who would want him to be financially successful lang and second what is important is for him to be happy i agree same yeah because they're not because you're making so much money. Well, of course it helps, but iba pa rin yung iba pa rin yeah. And you see him um, having that in the arena of script writing. Is that yes? I, I want I want his dreams to come true. And yeah. if, once you're a parent, it's not about you anymore. So yeah, you dream Pero, for for your child. Well, yes, and I also would like you to dream for yourself too. For me? Yeah. Oh, I'm living the dream. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, I'm far from it. I'm far from it. Okay. What's funny is that at work, kasi, I really wear a different hat. Like, it's not, I mean, it, it helped before that mm -hmm. nobody knew that. I, I was uh, a musician or a songwriter, yeah. but my Filipino nurses have been telling my boss who I who I am and who I was. So now my boss knows. My boss kasi is pote eh. They don't know anything about. Yeah. You know. and so now the 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 cat's so the, out of the bag. <laughs> yeah. So did it help? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Now they want me to do marketing, and I don't want to do marketing. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, that's not me. I, I told them I could never sell anything, like sell the company, but, you know. Yeah, you'd probably be able to sell if, it, if you created it. That's my guess. If, like, your songs, your paintings. When can we see those paintings? Mm, they're not for public consumption. <laughs> not yet. Do you no. know that it's to OQ? Is it a capital? I know you do. You're you're very creative. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's why creative chica. Uh-huh. Pero sana... You sa akin is more, ano lang, kasi, because, you know, I wasn't really going out that much. So. Uh-huh. And then I have, a, I have a friend who's a, who's a, um, who paints and she teaches paintings to, to kids. Mm. Uh, so I'm kid level lang ako. <laughs> That's how we start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you see my seven years ago painting, they look like blobs. But because <laughs> my th therapy is always art, painting, photography, music, um, yeah. ganun -ganun, pa iba -iba. crocheting. Mm -hmm. That's why nga eh, sabi ko, this arm just me. Because nung araw when I was um, mm -hmm. Kind of, I sat the man par, I know, postpartum depression after giving birth. I was, I was taking solace in uh, watercolors oh, before. That's my medium. Uh, uh, ikaw ang galing mo eh. Ako hindi. <laughs> narir, narir ko talaga siya, OQ. Remember, there was a time, um, I think this was when we were doing Lola Land, where I told you what happened to my family, my brother. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, friends, if you don't know, I lost my younger brother uh, three years ago in a very tragic uh, incident. And I turned to watercolor. Yes. It, it helped me a lot. Yeah. My hair on watercolor. It's the hardest medium. Nga daw eh. But once you, get, once you get, uh, you're going to be fast once you get that one mm. trick of, you know, practice makes progress. Anywho, um, hey, this is a uh, completely off OQ topic, but in a way, it's a another serendipity. Kismet, did you know that today, the 27th, is the um, uh, Linggo ng Musikang Pilipino 
and it's 27. It, uh, really? Wow. And I just caught it today. This was Presidential Proclamation 933, signed in 2014 by Pinoy. And then oh. this Linggo ng Musikang Pilipino, it aims to achieve the long-term goal of reviving original Filipino music. And the Filipino audience has an awareness and appreciation for um, homegrown music. Today! Can you believe Today! And I wasn't even planning for this to happen today. <laughs> I, I am a big believer in Kismet. I, I really am. You are. Serendipity, yeah. Mm -mm. And it's just fun when... when like that. Ah, when yeah. things align. They align, yeah. Yeah. So So are you into astrology and all that? Not not so much astrology. More of um I guess if we use the Catholic faith, Holy Spirit connecting with the Holy Spirit, which is really intuition. Mm -hmm. Uh your intuition. I believe the Holy Spirit lives in the intuition and vice versa. It's one and the oh, same. So that's a good. That's a, That's how I make peace with it. <laughs> that's interesting. Are you religious? Mm, not really, no. But spiritual. I, I think I'm. I'm spiritual, but not re very religious. I was brought up Catholic. Mm. Uh, I still go to church. I still go to mass. Yeah. But I'm not, I don't think of myself as religious. Okay. What does OQ pray about every day? Pray <laughs> for, about, not the religious kind of praying, of course. Mm -hmm. or is there anything that you pray for daily? I do. Um, for my family to always be safe. Um, my friends to be safe. And, and if there are some intentions I have to pray about, I always tell my friends, Sa akin kayo humingi ng prayers kasi uh, bihira akong humingi ng, ano, eh, ng, <laughs> ng favors from God. So marami pa akong ano, favors. <laughs> Pwedeng humili. <laughs> <laughs> De, biro ko lang sa kanila yun. <laughs> Ayan, dadami yung inbox mo. <laughs> Hihiling ng kung ano-ano, halaka. Um, as much as I want to continue, OQ, and my friends, it's already 10.07. I don't want to take advantage of the kindness of OQ. But I do have a final question for you. Okay. Ano to, biglang? Ooh, this is a nice final question that I can ask my guests. It starts with you, though. Okay, it's not so much a question, OQ. It's more like a let's time travel together, okay? Time travel. Okay. Um, Let's say 20 years from now. I'll be 77. Okay. I'll be 74. Five. What would the 77 OQ tell the one today? So let's pretend we're that old. What would they, what would she be saying to Odette right now? Um, exercise more. <laughs> And I would be also telling my younger self to continue exercising. <laughs> seriously. No, seriously, because I <laughs> because of your patience. No, I had no I no yeah, I I, I I get to talk to the patients and sometimes, you know, mm. a lot of them are incapacitated. I don't wanna grow old incapacitated you know i want to be healthy i want to be able to walk i want to be able to still drive i want to be able to still go out without a wheelchair or without a walker so exercise helps that stay as healthy as possible mm -hmm. eat mm -hmm. eat healthier yeah <laughs> <laughs> I have to say something about we can't end this without saying something about Fe. One word for Fe is what's the well, word? She's, I, I use sister because she's like a sister. Because we, we squabble, we argue, and then we're fine. <laughs> it's become that with you. It's really evolved into that level. Oh, ganun kami ni Fe. Oh. Ka -oh. To have that in your life is one of the biggest gifts, isn't it? 
It is, it is. Because to not uh, mince your words or uh, bite your tongue, you know, to be able to say how you truly feel and vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> that is goals. Yep. May we have all that uh, in our lives. And you can only do that with your sister, Diba. I, 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 I never had a sister, so I never had a brother, so I'm an only child, so... Yeah. Yeah. To have that with a friend is, is quite reassuring, and relaxing, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's a relationship goal, you know, to be so used to or so uh, comfortable with somebody that you can be yourself totally. Yes, we love fabulous. Just look at that. <laughs> look at that. She's a... Um... Para siyang bata, hindi isip bata ha. All those <laughs> But there's just such a youthful, just this exuberance yeah. about her. No matter what, no matter yes. what. Work. Actually, Work. ano ko siya eh, parang crutch ko si Fe. Crutch, mm. hindi crush ha. Crutch. Crutch. Kasi it's easier for me to be in public when she's around. Yes. I relax a little more because she steals it from me. She steals the attention away from me. Yeah. And I am just happy to be on the wayside and cheering her on. Because mm -hmm. I would rather the focus is on her than on me. In <laughs> the the rock. Oh, yeah, even, even on stage. I mean, can you imagine that? How can you actually be a performer if you are like cringing all over? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I get that. Um, I understand that. Uh, wait, let me look at all of you here. All you all. Uh, my God. Huh? Okay, so time check, 10-12. We are with Miss Odette Quesada on the Chicky Stories. Do we still have people watching? <laughs> A lot. Tumaas pa nga eh. From 60 na 65 na. I haven't <laughs> even checked. I haven't even checked YouTube one and YouTube two yet. So okay, yeah. Okay, thank you. I don't know how to thank you. Um, we were hoping to sing some songs, but you know what, guys? I'm sorry because when we do sing songs, they Need cut it out. Not mm -hmm. only that, they cut it out because of copyright. Really? Uh huh. Well, unless you're, are you the owner of all of the songs? Is your company? Because they have. Um, ways and means to hear the melody now. Oh, and so they, yeah. mute, they automatically yeah. mute it. For... Yung metadata kasi, yung metadata. Mm. That's it. Metadata. That's, 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 that's how uh, songwriters earn now. Because if uh, it's played on YouTube and let's say you upload something, you, gotta you pay. sang one of my songs, um, every, I think every six months you get a, a statement. A statement. Mm -hmm. From from YouTube or, you know, from Spotify, mm -hmm. you, we earn a little bit from that, and that's why it's important for songwriters to own their copyright. That's right. Yeah. The publishing. Um, I want to give um, I want to give Charina a chance to ask a question at this point because she's working so hard in the green room, balancing everything, checking comments, making sure nobody's doing crazy stuff. Okay, type away, Chowing, type away. I know you have a question for OQ. Or you want to come on? No? Okay. She's at work because she says you cannot be seen. Oh. It's morning in Australia. <laughs> but Dolly has a question. If we ask permission to use, okay lang? Uh, it's not a matter of asking permission. Um, it's a legality. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a daily practice? Daily practice? What What does it mean? Do that, come, that question is coming from a marathon person, marathoner, runner. Oh. So that's the... I, I don't do marathons. I cannot run. I, I have a... Um, yeah. so can... you know, I, I have a knee problem. Mm -hmm. So do you I, do... I do walk. I walk. But daily. I cannot run. I cannot walk. I cannot run. Mm -mm. No, not daily, but I, I, I try to. Okay. It's 
especially during the pandemic i was walking around my neighborhood for about an hour a day ayun na lang morning routine na lang daw from sherina pagbigyan morning routine uh I get up. <laughs> get up and go. Go go go. Uh, I have coffee in the morning. I have to have coffee. I tried to um not have coffee before. After two days I had this humongous headache that I had to go back and I was trying to wean myself off of coffee but it didn't work. I I could not work. I could not function so <laughs> don't even Malik try. Na Balik ako sa coffee. Grabe yung headache. Ibang klase. I know. Ibang klase. I tried to. I tried. Ibang klase. Mag-antasid na lang pag nag-antasid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, meron akong sepanks. I cannot. I said that was my last question. Ito na lang. Ito na lang. Maan was okay. asking another uh, very good um, goodbye question. So, I know it's going to be a hard thing to answer but if you had one song to sing to your fans because we're all your fans here right what would that song be cornered what would that one song for your fans i would i would think it would be i mean by choice they want me to sing friend of mine but if i were to sing you. to them yes siguro my favorite story because everybody you know everyone's life is a story with a beginning and an end <laughs> No, but the thing is, they've been around for a long time, and if I've got gotten any new fans, uh, they've rediscovered me, siguro, or they've introduced me to their kids. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's it's my favorite story because it's a good story to to have. It's to have people who have uh, used your songs as a theme song in their own lives. That's yeah. that's such a big deal because I I know that like. I grew up with liking songs of other people and having them as theme songs in my life. So I get that. And I thank you all for always uh, listening to my songs, continuing to, continuing to uh, watch my concerts, if I do have concerts. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a privilege. It's a real privilege. Can Not everybody sing? gets to him. I love that song for us. Even one Which one? Can you sing? Can Hello? Yeah, you, yeah, that's Hello? better. Okay. C can you can you gift us with a line or two from uh, the song that you want to sing to us your fans? Or the whole song? No man, <laughs> the whole song. <laughs> one or two only. Well, the, the, the start of the line. Um, Everyone's life is a story with a beginning and end. Some of us have hope and glory while others pretend. There have been things I should have known in my life. Took a while, but now I realize Right in front of me, as plain as can be, I just didn't see. But you were my favorite story, my favorite song. You were the main event in my life all along. You were my greatest adventure, my greatest surprise. I should have known all along. When I looked in your eyes, you'd be my favorite story. Yeah, a, a, a verse and a chorus. <laughs> a verse, a chorus, and priceless gift. That was priceless, OQ. Thank you so much. And we will let you go. This is the Thank time. Thank you, Cheeky. I don't want to let you go. We want to keep you on, but... <laughs> Oh, people have to go to work well, because people have to go to work tomorrow and they have to eat dinner and everything but OQ, thank you yes, so much allow thank us you. to have a part two of course yes. ano, bukas? Uh, <laughs> <hindi>. next week <laughs> <laughs> wait, I'm actually serious can you come back next week? are you crazy? I mean, baka naman <laughs> next week ulit <laughs> 
Bitdame. I only asked a third of the question. Uh, that depends. If if you get enough likes, sige. <laughs> Anong target natin? <laughs> Ewan ko sa'yo. <laughs> sige. Pag umabot na daw ng 1,000 likes. 1,000 likes. 1,000 lang. We have very low uh, expectations for now. Para hindi kami ma-disappoint. Okay, we love you so much. TCSB loves you and appreciates you so very love much. Love you too, Chiki. Hope um, to see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. For real. Yeah. Enjoy your so, dinner. How do I even get out of this room? You cannot. You're trapped. I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> applause for OQ again, guys. All of the applause all in the comment section. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. God bless you and thank you. That was Miss Adet Quesada. Pwede na tumili. Pwede na. Wait, OQ is trying to, to get out. She's still trapped. Okay, so she... <sighs> okay, Chowing, help. Help. Help me if you can. I'm feeling so excited. Episode, episode 6 is done. Done. We're halfway. Done. We're halfway. Yeah. Pwede ka nang sumili. Did you, did you enjoy that or what? Can you please yeah, it was put fun. something to say, please, OQ, come back. Sobrang bitin. Mm -hmm. Sobrang bitin. Yeah, Siguro yeah, on the yeah. second time, hindi na ako masyadong matutuliro. Nahalatang halata bang tuliro? Well, mga kaibigan, Chiki has been <laughs> making <laughs> ako yung... ano ba, tili ng tili the past few days just preparing for this podcast. Uh, uh, so, we even had a desensitization. Desensitization. <laughs> This we had a Zoom call, call, had a Zoom call with that. that I asked, um, sabi ko, Odette, pwede ba tayong mag, ano, usap ng kahit na ano? Kasi, it, it, this is, okay, I'll tell you, okay, this is the thing. When we are in the showbiz arena, showing with, with uh, Ate Cecil and the Jam mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, Fe, the mindset is different. So, parang, okay, performers, okay, lahat performers. Pero kasi yung puso ko ngayon nasa audience I I'm I'm my brain uh -huh. is okay. connected so much with my audience and that's you guys my artistas and I are like this you and I and the artistas are like this so I feel mm -hmm. the excitement and then hindi makatulog yung iba yung iba hindi na you know nagigising ng alas 4 ng umaga kasi gusto na nila Wednesday mm -hmm. That's, that's what happened. And I kept looking at and, my monitor. So, Mario Josep, ang pula-pula ng mukha ko sa sobrang... <laughs> I flushed. I, have, I flushed I have, the I have, entire I have front row. I have front yeah. row. Front row seats. <laughs> front I row so seats for the yeah. whole thing. So, guys, how 1,000 likes daw. Dali! So, we oh. need... Chiki, I just wanna um, go, announce go. yung ating bagong YouTube channel, which yes, was created yes. maybe three days ago. And from the last time I checked, we have over 70 subscribers. Yay! Yay! <laughs> My target okay. uh, was 100 this weekend. So I think we're going to get there. We will. We will we get will. there. And yeah. we do With need your a thousand help, you subscribers. Guys. Yeah, a thousand we, need, subscribers we need a thousand subscribers in this sure. channel. All right. Yeah. All right. And what will happen if there's a thousand subscribers? Oh, it's like we, we'll, we'll, we'll have more impact. Uh -huh. We'll gain an audience. And then more, more, more guests, more maybe like at the Cecil yes. Azarquan po next, please. Uh -oh. I'm really, right. I'm really, uh, uh, talaga naman. I'm so momentum. excited for all the friends to come on. Yeah. You yeah. need a momentum of, of, you know, people helping us. So please spread the word, share the links to your friends and family, people yes. who love How Did You Know? This is the channel. And you can watch all the previous podcasts in the in this uh, YouTube channel, all the episodes, all, all six the of episodes. Them. The first one all with one Coach place. Leia Erigel, the mm -hmm. second one with Miss Fed de los Reyes, the third one right. with Coach uh, Arlene. Arlene. No, Arlene uh, Oliveros. Coach. She is a sommelier. Sommelier, mm -hmm. yeah. Galing galing mm -hmm. ni Arlene then, and then Arlene Oliveros, and then the fourth is us with you and I. Us, yeah. We were yeah. talking about the podcast, and then the mm -hmm. last one before Anne this, Marie. Uh, Coach Anne Marie Luayon Texon. Correct. 
music. Number from six Jimmy is Earl. Odette. And then Miss Odette Casada. I ask for a hug from Oki talaga, sabi ni Mary Joanne Castillo. Buti ka pa ng kahag. Kami virtual hug lang. <laughs> okay. And this was this was uh, this was a lot of fun, you guys. So, mm-hmm. Chawin, thank you once again for even no problem work work from home. You're still helping me out here. I really appreciate it for keeping me grounded, no for keeping me yes. stoic. Yeah, I needed to come in to to um, land you softly. <laughs> Because you're so high. You need to land softly. <laughs> no! Energy, it's energy! I mean, direct okay. energy, energy. <laughs> oh okay. So, Are you good? I'm good. I'm good. Now okay. I can I can sign off um, on that okay. note. Okay. So like I said earlier, my heartistas, that was Miss Odette Quesada. And one of the things that we love about her, that I love about her, is just the simplicity and the elegance and the true, just beauty of her songs. And that is, by the way, the same thing that I would like all of us to in, to imbibe. Um, mas okay na yung simple talaga eh, lalo na po ngayon. Hindi na kailangan ng komplikado. Hindi na kailangan ng masyadong maraming kung ano-ano. Just being our, you know, ourselves, be it in songwriting, or in marathon, in running, or whatever it is that you love to do. Um, pero talagang hopeless romantic po tayong lahat dito. <laughs> Taas ang kamay, high five, high ten to all the hopeless romantics here. And um, before I forget, I would like to invite every single one of you, if you liked what you watched tonight, uh, today, for those in Manila, magandang umaga sa inyo. Please consider becoming a member and a Patreon, a patron, patron at patreon.com, uh, which is the community that we are growing and building. And the Chiki Stories podcast, Chica, Creative Chica for the Immigrant Filipina, is dedicated to. <clears throat> it's it's dedicated towards making a more um, safe uh, you know the place where you can just be yourself you can write your stories just like charm did and then with the guests that come uh, we share our stories and experiences Ika nga, uh, we cannot really teach anything and at 54 I have come to believe this uh, it's not in words that we are able to teach it is more the stories that we share and the experiences that we have and that we are willing to share with other people that we can truly be effective. So uh, thank you once again, Miss Odette Casada, for everything that you shared tonight. Sana bumalik next week. I'm really hoping that there's a part two. Um, so, okay. My, I can't even focus on <laughs> reading the end message. I'm still there chewing. I still haven't landed. So from us here on TCSP, from my heart and my home, my family, Azimi family to yours, this is Chiki Pineda saying peace, love, and blessings always. And always remember to be courageous in your brand of creativity. And um, I hope to see you again next week. Same time, same place, hopefully, with the one and only Miss Odette Casada for a part two. Um, and I also have a Chicky Story Saturday. If you like singing along, I have a live stream called Chicky Story Saturday where I encourage everybody to just sing along with me. You know, I play the music on the piano and then kanta kanta together, Tagalog, English, Bisaya, Hala, Bisag Unsa, Bisag Unsa, okay lang. All right, so with that, folks, episode six is done. I thank you. I love you. I appreciate you. And please, please, please consider checking out my website, chikipinada.com. If you can't be a patron now, if it's a yet for you, just please register and join chikipinada.com. And so we can write to you and let you know about all the good things that are happening in our little corner of the world right here. The Chiki Stories podcast Creative Chica for the Immigrant Filipina is now signing off. Love you guys. Thanks again, Chawing. Bye. Charina Giron, a.k.a. Chawing. This is Ginny Lee Paez Tabar, aka 
Kiss Benjin, Rina Honorium, Dolly Moreno Gonzalez. Bye for now. Thank you very much, patrons, Vita Babes, my family, and everybody that watched here tonight. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Mwah. See you next week. Bye. Oh, see you on the weekend. Thank you. We love you, OQ.